Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Jehovah Jireh, my prayer.
If it had not been for you Tell me where would I be I was lost and sinking deep in sin Oh Lord But you reached out your hand And you rescued me No one else can do the things you do No one else but you I am who I am because of you Yes, because of you If it had not been for you Tell me where would I be But you reached out of your hand and rescued me. No one else can do the things you do. Oh, my Lord, there's no one else but you. For no one yet. For no one yet. For no no one else but you For no one yet For no one yet For no No one else but you For no one yet For no For no one yet For no
the angels sing Jesus dearer to my heart than anything sweeter than springtime purer than sunshine ever my song will Jesus, you're beautiful, beautiful to me. just need to align oh because you are not a man that changes your mind oh those that know you will trust in you not in horses and chariots but the arm of flesh no man can prevail no man is you what is hard what is hard for you it can never exist oh. you do not lie you do not fail what is hard what is hard what is hard for you oh it can never ever exist oh. what is hard what is hard, what is hard for you to do, to do, it can never ever exist, oh, oh, yeah. it can never ever exist, It's kind 
Hallelujah. Oh, you want to do it better for Jesus? Hallelujah. You want to humbly rise up to your feet and go around and welcome somebody to church tonight. Hallelujah. You want to come up from your seats and welcome somebody to church tonight. Hallelujah. The psalmist says that this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We thank God for how far he has brought us. It is the doing of the Lord and it's always marvelous in his sight. Hallelujah. You want to give a clap to Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, we want to thank God for ushering you into your God here, hallelujah. And you want to celebrate the Lord for the blessings and the victories that lie ahead of you in 2024, hallelujah. Tonight, we want to thank God for ushering you into your God here. Celebrate the Lord for the blessings and his victories that lie ahead of you in 2024. You want to humbly lift up your voice in prayer and begin to thank God for ushering you into our God here and want to celebrate the Lord for the blessings and the victories that lie ahead of you. He says that for the plans I have for you are thought of good, not of evil. That I, the Lord God, I will take you to an expected end. Tonight we are thanking him for ushering us into our God here and want to celebrate him for the blessings and the victories that lies ahead of us in this year in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this year. We thank you, Lord God, for Lord God giving us this year. Lord, we want to celebrate you, Lord God. Now tonight, we thank you for the blessings. He says that it is the blessings of God that make it one rich and add no sorrows to it. Lord, we thank you for that blessings. We thank you for the victories that is ahead of us in the name of Jesus. Iku savaraka su se feduha ra du se debre kupa talima tasuha ivete dinimi kapaha ra da da se de kadua se de de fadaha re dunimi katust ke felen de de be kapaha ra bada ute su de fe dunimi katehe ri kafala sha da da pa da da baha le ve de diko palua sha dinimi kapaha elen pen dinimi kapara da da fada le be kadu se le ve ke dima kapaha li vara ta sente de de ta susa fe diha li para ku se ve kadu ha that you are saying lord god i thank you lord god for giving me 2024 lord i thank you that in this good year you will be faithful and you will be good to me and we are celebrating god for the blessings that he is going to give unto us 
and the battles he has won for us in the name of Jesus e para sa su se fe kuha e tu ste fe dini mi kata ru de de fe dini mi kata e te se tu sa sa fa su he i so ni mi su sa sa ka su se he e le pen dini mi ta sundem fe du ha la bra ku tan de ne me ta si ni mi ta sa ha o fa ta su se le get he li para ba shan da da ba ha e ye pen dini mi ta sa ha le be de ka di ma ka du e yem pendini mi kata la do se fe dini mi kapa that it is only God who can do this it is only God who can do this the lion of the tribe of Judah the I am that I am the God that sees it is only God who can do this tonight you want to thank him for ushering you into the God here he has been a good God he has been a good father he has been a good God he has been a good father yet though we may walk through the valley of shadow of death many were the people that we started the year 2023 with but they are not living they are not among the living but tonight you are here in 2024 the 19th day of january it is only god who can do this tonight we are saying lord god we thank you lord take all the praise lord take all the adoration lord we thank you in the name of jesus the songwriter says that we are kept by the power of the lord it is only god who can do this who palace are to set for kisi katua a young pen didn't me utter meaning it as susa live very bad katua a young pen didn't me kapa a young ten didn't me katua if there is any prayer we have as believers it is a prayer of thanksgiving uta laba shanda daba so in the look in the book of luca he said ten leopards met jesus he said go and show yourself to the priest my bible says it was only one that came back to say thank you jesus the word of god says that he was a samaritan tonight you will be a samaritan may you be that samaritan who have come back to say lord god thank you for ushering me into 2024 our god here i thank you Sa libere beta suni mi kato sua ifendi ni mi kata radada shedi mi ni kapa elempen di ma kapa and the word of God says that the Samaritan fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan tonight be a Samaritan be a Samaritan be the Samaritan who have come to say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus the Lord God yet though i have walked through the valley of shadow of death yet though lord god i have encountered evil evil has come close to me evil has come to my dwelling but you have been a good god you have been a good god you have been a good god he has been a good father let me descend the bed the word of god say that god is not a man that he will lie or a son of man that he will repent has he not said it and will he not do it whatever god has said to you he has fulfilled it he has proven to be god he has proven to be god many are the gods of men that what they say they cannot do the other day i read a story of a god that when it was raining they had to carry the god but tonight the god that we serve the god that we serve the mighty one of israel he cannot be carried he cannot be carried the god that we serve is not just a mere god but the i am that i am the one who sits in heaven the one who sits in heaven Lord, we thank you and we bless your name in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Still in prayer, we want to thank God for the opportunity to come before him tonight. Confess that you are leaving this meeting with your answers. Breakthrough.
breakthroughs and miracles in the name of Jesus we want to thank God for the opportunity to come before him tonight and confess that you are leaving this meeting with answers breakthroughs and miracles in the name of Jesus you want to lift up your voice in prayer father in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you for the opportunity we thank you for the grace to be able to come before you tonight and father we confess that Lord God tonight we are leaving this meeting with our answers breakthroughs and miracles in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the word of God says that say to them as surely as I live say yes the Lord God whatever you will say to my ears is what I will do tonight we are telling God that father we are leaving this meeting with our answers breakthroughs miracles coming to pass in the name of Jesus we are saying that Lord God tonight we therefore affirm that Lord God whatever we are saying to you you answer us speedily in the name of Jesus the new King James says in Mark 11 24 therefore I saw to you whatever things you ask when you pray believe that you have received them and you will have them tonight whatever we are praying about whatever we are telling God we are believing God that we are having answers to them in the name of Jesus situation whatsoever we came here with we are not exiting with the problem he has taken the problem and he has given you the answers the breakthroughs and the miracles Lord we thank you we bless your name in the name of Jesus hallelujah still in prayer you want to ask God to clothe you with the grace and discipline for prayer in this year prophesy that by prayer you will contend for every good thing God has prepared for you and your family in the name of Jesus you want to ask God to clothe you with the grace and discipline for 
here in this year prophesy that by prayer you will contend for every good thing god has prepared for you and your family in the name of jesus you want to lift up your voice in prayer the word of god say that we should pray without ceasing luke 18 verse 1 he said that and he spoke a parable unto the end saying that men ought to pray and not to faint hallelujah james chapter 5 verse 17 and 18 says that elijah was a man like subject passion as we are he prayed earnestly that it should not rain and the heavens did not give rain within the space of three years and six months and he prayed again and the heavens gave rain tonight we are praying that god will clothe you in discipline in prayer in the name of jesus and you want to prophesy in prayer that you will contend with every good you are not going to give up in prayer you are not going to get tired in prayer but you will stay in the place called prayer persistency and consistency in the name of jesus one he spoke a parable and said men ought to pray and not to faint there was in a city a judge and a widow the judge did not fear god but the woman kept on going to the judge persistency consistency the judge avenged my case for me the woman did not give up so in prayer we are saying lord god i don't want to give up in prayer i want to stay in a place of Lasaka suselege, a lumpen dinimi katua, rimpenebe katapa, a yempen dinimi tasue, a yokoto katua, limbaraba kapa, yenten dinimi kapa, raduni mi kapa, let the defede, yempen dinimi kapa, that in our God here, He will give you the grace and the discipline to stay in prayer, to stay in prayer, lavada kadua, yempen. Sua, ye kete palaba, a yen pendini mi kopa, rababa shadua, le bede kapa, yen pendini mi apa, atesaya meta sua, iko palaba, reggae de fediva, yen pendini mi tasua, iko polabo, rababa shadaba, ika madia, le bede kapa, randuni mi kata, reggae de fedi, a yen pendini mi Radada shada, a yen pendini mi kapa, le bede de, rada sata, yen pendini mi kapa, rababa shadebe, yen pelua kapa, a yen pendini mi tasue, iko telebe, shandini mi kapa, radada kadua, yen pendini mi kata, a yen pendo saba, lima rakapa, yen bede kapa, itelebe sholaba, raduni mi kapa, a yen pendini mi kata iko palaba raduni mi ketempelwa i vesta le mene kapa ya dala bada ike pelwa kete la bada shebe iko palaba ya pendini mi kata ya palaba shadua li maraba kapa le bede kapa ya pendini mi kopa rapa baba ya penden kadabadia and by prayer you will come and you will take every good thing God has prepared for you whatever belongs to you you will take in prayer in the name of Jesus Apostle Paul says for a great and effective door has been opened unto me but many are my adversaries who will stand in prayer and will contend with those adversaries 
ashes and we will win them we will win them we will bring them down in the name of jesus in the name of jesus whatsoever is good that god will give unto you in prayer we will take it we will not give up we will not grow weary in prayer in the name of jesus la basumpa Sua leve de capa, dimbrini me da dua, o lopa lua sa dua, leve de capa, e em pendini me capa, rabba baba, e em pen pen capa, e em pelua capa, dum palaba, e dum pelebe, e dum pelebe, ricoto, raduni me catuse, e em pesente, roba ba, e capelua capa, ridelebe, randolobo, e Solo bo lima na kapa rada da fete iempe dua kapa fite lebe super lava katua iempe lua kapa la da da kapa somebody don't give up push in prayer contend and take whatever belongs to you whatever is yours we are contending in prayer and we are taking whatever belongs to us in the name of Jesus don't go weary don't go who will stay in prayer the place called prayer the word of god says that we should pray without ceasing rabba da shunta de be ivele be kadua rintele be rabba baka pa ayem pendi otasie tumpele be tasua vitele me kopala ba ipele be rabba baka dua lima na kapa rede de fe dua laba kupa in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You want to give the Lord a clap, hallelujah. Turn to anybody and say, neighbor, you are doing good. Push it. Hallelujah. Still in prayer. You want to pray for the desire and discipline to study and walk in the word of god hallelujah in our god here you need to have the word of god in you hallelujah you want to declare that the word of god will be real in your life and bring you daily victory hallelujah you want to pray for the desire and discipline to study and walk in the word of god you want to declare that the word of god will be real in your life and bring you daily victory hallelujah when you have the word of god in you any situation you come into contact with you will speak the word against that situation hallelujah so if it's healing you are believing god for when the word of god is in you you will tell the enemy that by his stripes we are healed hallelujah you are believing god for the fruit of the womb and the word of god is in you you will tell yourself that psalm 127 verse 2 says that children are a gift from god therefore the fruit of the womb is the reward from the lord hallelujah so the word of god will be you hallelujah so you want to lift up your voice in prayer and pray for the desire and discipline to study and walk in the word of god psalm 119 i think 9 or 11 says that your word have i hidden in my heart that i may not sin against thee we need the word of god heaven and earth will pass away but the word of god will abide forever we need the word of god as believers tonight we want to pray for the desire and discipline to study and walk in the word of god declare that the word of god will be real in your life and bring you daily victory i want to read something in jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. jeremiah says that your words were found and i ate them and your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart for i am called by your name o lord god of hosts he found the word of god and he ate the word hallelujah and the word of god was a joy unto him tonight we want to pray for the desire and discipline to study and walk in the word of god declare that the word of god 
will be rule in your life and bring you daily victory in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in prayer. The Lord God, let me be a man and a woman of the word. Let the word of God be in me in the name of Jesus Kabadaba Leveka Duni Mikapa Let do set Fedua the word of God says that how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus so David says that open my eyes that I may behold see the wondrous things in the word for I am a stranger on this earth Lord God tonight we need the word in the name of Jesus that you need the desire and the discipline to study and walk in the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus whatever we are going through is not bigger than God you just need the word of the Lord concerning your situation you need the word of the Lord to come to you and to, to, to come to you and give you peace tonight you want to say Lord God I want I need a desire and Lord discipline me to study and walk in the word of God in the name of Jesus
will see the fruit of the word be manifest in our life for victory daily daily in the name of jesus hallelujah favorite prayer point one who asks the holy spirit to stir up a revival in the heart of many in our churches schools workplace and in the nation in the name of jesus tonight one who asks the holy spirit to stir up a revival in the heart of many in our churches schools workplace and in the nation in the name of jesus psalm 80 verse 18 david says that then we will not turn back from you revive us and we will call upon your name habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2 oh lord i have heard your speech and was afraid oh lord revive your work in the midst of the years in the midst of the years make it known in wrath remember mercy tonight we need a revival in the name of jesus popular verse of scripture joel 2 28 says that and it shall come to pass afterwards that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy hallelujah your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions and also on my men servant and my maid servant i will pour out my spirit in those days and i will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and the awesome day of the lord and it shall come to pass that whosoever calls on the name of the lord shall be saved for in mount zion and in jerusalem there shall be deliverance as the lord has said among the remnant whom 
the Lord calls. Tonight we are praying for a revival. There should be a stir up in our generation, in our heart, our schools. Wherever you find yourself, you want God to put up a revival. Stir up somebody in the name of Jesus. You want to lift up your voice in prayer and pray this prayer that Father Lord, we are asking the Holy Spirit to stir up a revival in our hearts of many in our churches schools workplace and in the nation in the name of jesus why don't you lift up your voice in prayer and begin to pray in the name of jesus lord we need lord god a stir we need a revival lord god in our generation now in the name of jesus the lord god there will be a revival in our heart in the name of jesus there will be a revival in the church in the name of jesus lord we want you to revive us again in the name of jesus as your word has says the lord god in the last days you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh lord god you will pour out your spirit upon the church lord god the schools well place the nation at large in the name of jesus we need a revival we need a move of God to be so strong in our churches in our schools our workplaces and the nation at large that when the revival comes there will be a mighty move of God in the name of Jesus it will draw all men unto him in the name of Jesus we are praying that Lord God there will be a stir up a revival in the body of Christ in our churches our schools wherever we find our place on the street at the market place in the buses lord god wherever we find ourselves there will be a mighty move of god you will pour out your spirit in the name of jesus tonight if you agree with me that the sun shall not smite thee by day not the moon by night tonight if you agree with me that God the mighty one of Israel has fought your battles for you God has stepped in for you why don't you give the Lord a clap let's give the Lord a clap and give the Lord a mighty tender 
shout! Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a shout. Just turn to your neighbor and say, give me space, give me space, give me space. Hallelujah. Are you excited? Hallelujah.
together for the Lord this evening. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord of hosts. You may please take your seat. We are grateful to God for this opportunity we have to spend time in his presence as we pray, as we worship him, and as we wait for his word also in our lives. Before the next morning, 4 a.m., when 4:30 a.m., when we leave this place, we will spend time to pray and pray for God's protection on our lives and our families. We will pray for His direction, and we will also pray on the theme for the year, which is God. And we believe that in these periods, as we pray to God, He will indeed hear us, and He will do what He has planned to do for our lives. 
before we leave here by the morning of the next day, we will also be singing and worshiping God with the fruits of our lips and our hearts. This evening, we can start with music from the New Breed Choir who are just right behind me. Please put your hands together for them. And after they are done, we will continue with prayer and Pastor Annabelle Jr. will take us in the next section of prayer. So please do take note. One more time, put your hands together for the New Breed Choir. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. This is our God year, our year of glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. 
Why don't you give the Lord a shout? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is your God here. Say, neighbor, in this year you will see God. Hallelujah. We want to humbly rise to our feet as we enter into another session of prayer. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't get tired. We are just starting. Say, neighbor, wake up for me. Pray with me. Say, neighbor, encourage me to pray so that we can press on in our God year. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and you can add a shout if you are alive in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight we're praying on direction and guidance and I believe that we all have areas in our lives where we are looking for God's direction and we are looking for God's guidance. And first of all, we want to bless the Lord for the work of the Holy Spirit in your life. And you want to pray that He will help you to make the right decisions and choices this year. This year you will not make any mistake. You will make the right choices. You want to lift up your voice and pray tonight and say, God, thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in my life. And help me, oh God, to make the right decisions and choices this year. In the name of Jesus, you want to lift up your voice in prayer. Lord, we thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Life. you said when you are leaving you will not leave us alone you will give us a comforter Lord we thank you for the work of the comforter in our lives we bless your name God for giving us the Holy Spirit as an assurance of our faith we thank you oh God that the Holy Spirit is the seal of our redemption we thank you oh God that the Holy Spirit is our friend we thank you oh God that you have given us the spirit who Christ within our spirits and bears witness with us that we are the sons of God. Rapayos Kapaya, Ipandos Kibataya, Eleve Mataya, Lapayos Kapaya. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the Holy Spirit. Rapayos Ibrataya, Ikamados Kapaya, Ikatelebesh Kapa, Adabalabos Kapa, Evalalamas Kapa, Evalos Kapaya, Eprados Kapaya. Lord, we thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit in our lives. We thank you, O oh God that the Spirit of God lives in us. He is with us. He surrounds us in the name of Jesus. Repalos kapaya, ekavalos kapaya, ekabaros kapaya, rabalos adataya, ekavana nabrataya. He's not a force living inside us. He's a person that lives on the inside of us. We thank you, O Lord, for giving us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Rapalos ataya. The Bible said, will a man ask his father for bread and get a stone in return and will a man ask his father for fish and get a scorpion in return if you know how to give good gifts to your children how much more your heavenly father won't he give you the holy spirit somebody thank god that he has given you the holy spirit somebody thank god that the holy spirit is at work in your life and you want to pray that he will help you to make the right decisions anywhere you go you will make the right decisions through out this year you will not fall you will not stumble because the Holy Spirit will help you to choose right he will help you to go right he will help you on the right path Rapalos Ataya Ipandos Igataya Ekamanabash Kapa Evelelemesh Kotaya Arapashataya Ereboshataya Ekavalalawoshaya Jesus said the son cannot do anything unless he sees what the father is doing Lord we pray oh God in this year we will do what you are doing we will say what you are saying we will go where you are going somebody who does not want to get lost in this year you want to pray this prayer and say Lord help me to make the right decisions we will choose well we will make the right decisions we will choose well. We will make the right decisions. Jesus said to Martha, 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 you are troubled about many things, but Mary has chosen one thing that is good for her and it will not be taken 
running away from her this year we will choose the good things rapalos kapaya ikapandos kapa rapados kapa rapalos kapa the holy spirit would help us make the right decisions rapalos kapaya we will be like ruth who followed naomi and ended up with her husband we will make the right decisions we will be like the servants of abraham who saw the woman at the well and said that this one is good for isaac lord god anybody who has to decide on the right partner help us to make the right decision in the name of jesus concerning our career help us to make the right decision rapalos kapaya erevesh kapa agados kapaya ikapandus ata ependos kapaya rapos kapa the bible said in that day you will hear a voice saying behind you this is the way walk in it rapalos adaya ikavanus kapa ekadados kapa throughout this year we will hear that voice saying to us this is the right way walk in it kapalos kapa rapos kapa rapados kapa we will not go where you haven't sent us we will not step where you haven't sent us the bible said isaac wanted to leave the land because there was famine like his father abraham did but god said stay in the land and the bible said he sowed in that land and in that same year he reaped a hundredfold and he began to prosper he continued prospering until he became very prosperous this year we will prosper because we are making the right decisions this year god will lead us rapayos kapaya ikamados ibrata ekaros kataya elebreshadaba araboshaka ekavala labrasha ipandus kataya ekavala labashata ekalebeleos kata rabashataya ekabalos kata ekabalos kapa ekabalos kapa arabashata ragatabaya apanyon tapa somebody pray and say holy spirit help me to make the right decisions this year i will not stumble this year i will not miss my way kapayos kapa akados kapa the bible said there's a way that seems right unto a man but the end thereof is destruction lord we pray oh god keep us away from the road of destruction keep us away from the road of calamity kapalo ataya ipandos kapa ekapenenos kapa rabos kapa ragatas ka ekavalos kapa rabos kapa the bible said who has known the mind of god that he will instruct him but we have we have we have the mind of christ kapalos kapaya in this year we will have the mind of christ in this year we will know where god is sending us in this year we will know the right decisions in the name of jesus rapenos kapa ikapenos kata ekavela la breska ikambos kapa ikadadas kapa rapalos kapa ereveshata ependos kapa ikapodos kapa yagadas kapa ekavalos kapa ekadas kapa ekapados kapa ekapalos kapa in the mighty name of jesus we thank you we bless you put your hands together for jesus oh you are clapping like you don't believe god will lead you in this year you are clapping like you are going to make the wrong decisions put your hands together for jesus hallelujah sense your neighbor and say neighbor we are still praying if your neighbor is door you can shake your neighbor and say neighbor wake up we are still praying secondly we want to pray under guidance you want to pray that god will lead you out of every challenging situation you find yourself in and you want to boldly confess that your spirit will be alert to perceive danger and escape trouble I want to open our bibles to psalm 34 verse 17 i want to read from the message bible psalm 34 verse 17 reading from the message translation psalm 34 verse 17 it says that is anyone crying for help god is listening ready to rescue you i didn't hear your amen it says is anyone crying for help god is listening and he's ready to rescue you if you believe it put your hands together for jesus and tonight you want to lift up your voice and say lord lead me out of every challenging situation i find myself in and you want to confess that your spirit is alert to 
perceive danger and escape trouble lift up your voice and pray God is listening to you the scripture says that is anyone crying for help God is listening tonight God is listening to you you want to lift up your voice and cry out unto God you want to lift up your voice and say God lead me out of every challenging situation God is listening Rapandos Kibata Ragatalabashka Ragatoskapa Elependoskapa Any trouble we find ourselves in Lord lead us out in the name of Jesus every challenge we are encamped around with lead us out in the name of Jesus Rapaloskapaya Ragashkapaya Regashedebe Rapaloskapaya Rapashkapa Psalm 34 verse 17 in the New King James it says the righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles tonight God will deliver us out of every trouble out of every challenge in the name of Jesus verse 19 says many are the afflictions of the righteous man but the Lord but the Lord but the Lord delivers him out of them all tonight oh God this year oh God we are coming out this year oh God we are coming out this year oh God we are coming out in the name of Jesus we will escape every challenging situation we will not be kept there we will not be put there forever it will not be a resting place we are coming out in the name of Jesus we are coming out in the name of Jesus Jesus said lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one tonight Lord we may we be delivered Kapila Ataya Kaparoskapaya Rabashkapa that challenging marriage we are coming out that challenging finances we are coming out you are delivering us from every trouble in the name of Jesus we will be delivered Kapila Ataya Kaveroskapaya Raboskapaya God will make a way where there seems to be no way Rapina Ataya Kavaloskapaya Raboskapaya Ragatapaya Rabaloskapaya somebody push in prayer somebody push in prayer you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out La Pila Ataya La Penoskapa Ragatoskapa La Proskapaya and you want to confess that your spirit is alert to perceive danger and escape trouble this year you will miss danger danger will not find you every trouble that has been set for you every trap that the enemy has laid for you you will escape Kabaloskapa Rapenoskapa Rabakashaya Rapodoskapa the Bible said in the Psalms that blessed be the Lord God who has not given us a spray to their teeth my soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler the snare is broken I have escaped my help is in the name of the Lord Rapina Akata Ekomenoskata Evera the Beskapa Raboskapa Igavina Dosa Evela Labretta Akadoskapa Rabitoskapa Rabokoshaya This year oh God every trap that has been set for us every trap of the enemy that has been prepared for us we will escape we will escape we will escape in the name of Jesus Haman may hang the gallows but we will escape Kabila Ataya Iva Mudeskata Abina Taya Rebeloskapaya Laboshata Ragoshkata Ragadabaya my spirit man is coming alive my spirit man will be alert I will perceive danger in Kabuna Taya Iva Loskapa Ragoshkataya Reboshata Regotalaba Labayata Akadalaba Akadoshkapa 
I will be alert to every danger, every trouble. I will escape. Kabalo Daya, in Kavelo I will escape that road accident. I will escape that fire accident. I will escape that trouble. I will escape that scheme of the enemy. Kabilo Skataya, Reka Shadapa. They will gather together and plot against us, but it will not stand because our God is with us. Kabilo Shata, Eva Loboskapa. Every danger that has been earmarked for you, you will escape it. Kabila Taya, Eva Nubra Shata, E Kabolo Skapa, A Rabba Shataya, E Menanata, A Kaba Baba, my God, my God, Rapendo Skata, Eva Lua Skata, throughout January, throughout February, throughout March, throughout April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, we will escape every trap of the enemy. Kabelo Kataya, Akado Skapaya, it will not come near us. Kaparo Skapa, a thousand will fall on our side, ten thousand on our right, but it will not come near our dwelling. Only with our eyes will we see the reward of the wicked one. Kaboro Skataya, Rapalo Skata, Ragadabaya, Akabo Skapaya, a Kaparo Skapa, Labalo Skata. Every time they set a trap for Jesus, the Bible said he himself knew the hearts of men we pray oh god in this year we will know the hearts of men we will descend the right way to go we will descend how to escape trouble kapila kataya avina kote a penoskapa raboskapaya a leveshkapa ragashadapa a kadashkapa a labroshata we will be like elisha when the king got in his bedroom we will hear about it ikapano kata ikavila la Bata, a capello loscata, a rabba shata, rabba loscata, rabbo scata. Our spirit man will not miss a signal. Our spirit man will be alert. Our spirit man will pick up danger. Capilla cata, a capo scapa, rabbo scata. This year we will not be blind. We will not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Capilla cata, a capuna cata, rapina tire, a fella la brescia. In the mighty name of Jesus, you want to put your hands together for Jesus? Turn to your neighbor once again and say, Neighbor, we are still praying. Say, Neighbor, don't get tired. We are still praying. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. We are praying our third prayer point, and I love this point so much. It says, ask God to position you at the right place, at the right time, to experience the best of what he has for you this year. Declare the end of every fruitless toil in 2024. I want to read Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. I'm reading from the... New Living Translation, the NLT, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 11. It says that I have observed something, something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race. And the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry. And the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. It is all decided by chance, by being in the right place at the right time. May you be in the right place at the right time. I didn't hear your amen. May you be in the right place at the right time. And this time, it's not because of chance. It's because we are being led by the Spirit of God. Tonight, we are praying. You are saying, God, position me at the right place at the right time that I will experience the best of what you have for me this year. And then you want to declare that every first fruitless toil in 2024 is coming to an end lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray talk to god tonight talk to god tonight in the name of jesus you'll be at the right place at the right time you will not miss divine opportunity the holy spirit will lead you to the right place at the right time Makosh Kapaya, 
Ragadala Bashkapa. You'll be at the right place at the right time. You'll be at the right place at the right time. You'll be at the right place at the right time. Makoshkapaya. Ika Vila La Brashaya. Et Vela La Brashkapa. Ragoshkapaya. They may have run ahead of you. The fastest runners may have gone ahead of you. The wisest people may have taken the lead. But this year, you'll be at the right place at the right time. Rapando Skapaya. Ika Vela La Boshkapa. Ragata Skapa. Ragato Skapa. Lake Pila La Bata. La Bando Skapa. La Brando Skipa. Riga Tegele Breshkapa. Ragato Skapaya. La Vende La Beshkapa. La Brata La Balaba. Eka Pala Bala Boshkapa. Eka Pala Bala Boshkapa. Reka Tega the Breshkapa. Oh Lord God. Put us at the right place. At the right time. Keep Balo Skapa. We will not be at the right place. At the wrong time. We will not be at the wrong place. At the right time. But put us, oh God. At the right place. At the right time. Position us for divine breakthrough. Position us for divine experiences. Kabila Skapaya. Rako Skapa. Rako Skapa. Rabolo Skapa. Wherever our blessing is, we will locate it. Wherever our blessing is, we will find it. Rapalo Skapa. Rakatapaya. Ekapala Labashkapa. Raposkapa. Lord God, put us at the right place. At the right time. Rapendo Skapa. Reka Shadabaya. Ekavela Laboskapa. Rakashkapaya. The Bible said when Gideon went out to war with 300 men, the Bible said this man stood at the right place at the right time. They stood at the right place and they dropped their pitches and they shouted and blew the trumpet and said the sword of the Lord and the sword of Gideon. But the Bible said each man stood at his position. We pray, oh God, in this year we will stand at the right position. Kapalos Kapaya, Ikapenos Kapa, Rakatash Kapa, Rabalos Kapa, Rakash Kapa, Rakatabaya, Rakatolos Kapa, Rakashadabaya, who be like Zacchaeus, who climbed the sycamore tree just to see Jesus, who be at the right place at the right time. We will not miss divine opportunity, we will not miss every golden opportunity, everything God has planned for us. We will be there to receive it. Kapila Shkataya, Akabashkapa, Ekadegeshkapa, Raboshkapa. We will get to the office at the right time. When it's time for promotion, we will be there. When it's time to meet our destiny helper, we will be there. Nothing will delay us. Nothing will stop us. Saul was looking for donkeys, but he didn't know it was a divine setup to meet the king, to meet the prophet, and to be announced as a king. This year, we will be announced. This year, we will meet, oh God, our destiny helpers. This year, we will meet, will be at the right place, at the right time. Kapilos Kataya, Rabos Kapaya, Rekatigashaya. And you want to declare an end to every fruitless toil in 2024. Peter said, we have toiled all night and we have caught nothing. But at your word, we will let down our nets. Beloved, it was the same place that he had thrown his net earlier on. He was at the right place, but at the wrong time. But when Jesus' word came and said, let down your nets, he cast his net at the right place, at the right time. Beloved, you will not miss divine opportunities. Kabila Kataya, Kabino Kataya, Rapalo Skapaya. There's an end to every fruitless toil. We will not toil in vain. We will not suffer and not get reward. We will not labor and not have fruits. The Bible said to every labor there is profit. We pray, oh God, give us our profits. In 2024, we will receive our profits. In 2024, we will receive our fruits. The fruit of our labors. Kabila Kataya, Akabenos Kata, Arabos Kapa, Rakos Kapa. We will not toil in vain. We declare, oh God, we will not toil in vain. Rapendos Kapa, Reka Shedeba, Ekatada Baska, Lepala Boskaya, Ekapada Dataya, Arabos Kata, Rakatalaba, Rabos Kapa. We will not say like Peter, we have told all year, but caught nothing. But we declare.
declare every fruitless toil is coming to an end every fruitless toil is coming to an end rapino akata ikapino skataya evela la brashata rago skataya regatega daya ragatagalaba arabashata ragategata apayada dada akabaya bata apando skapa regashegata regategata la prayoskata ragashadaya evela la boskata we will not plant for it to be scattered we will not suffer for it to go in vain we will reap the fruit of our labors we will not learn in vain we will not steady and get f we will not steady and fail we will not work hard and have nothing to show kapina kataya appendo attire and rebeto skapa a kadipro shata rabo skata we will not commit to that marriage and have something else but oh lord will receive the fruits of our labors kapodo skata we will not train our children for them to go wayward we will receive the fruits of our labors kapina tire kapeno skata rabalo tire e kapeno tapa e kapele lebreshaya in the mighty name of jesus we thank you and we bless you in jesus mighty name put your hands together for jesus and you want to turn to your neighbor again and say neighbor don't get tired say neighbor we are still praying hallelujah put your hands together for jesus tonight i believe we all have goals we all have plans for 2024 and you want to commit your goals and aspirations for 2024 into god's hands and you want to declare that god will do exceedingly abundantly far above all that you have imagined i didn't hear your amen the bible says in proverbs 16 verse 3 i'm reading from the niv the new international version proverbs 16 verse 3 it says that commit to the lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans this year god will establish our plans i didn't hear your amen this year god will establish our plans and tonight you want to surrender those goals unto god and you want to declare that god will blow your mind god will do exceedingly abundantly far above all that you can ask or think lift up your voice and pray tonight you want to lift up your voice and pray you want to lift up your voice and pray say lord we commit whatever we want to do into your hands establish our plans in the name of jesus this year we have goals this year we have plans this year we have set targets but lord we surrender them into your hands we pray oh god that these goals will multiply in your hands the lord you do exceedingly you do abundantly far above all that you have we have imagined in the name of jesus Every goal, every aspiration for this year, we surrender it into your hands. In the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, that you multiply it. We pray, oh God, that you blow our minds in 2024. Whatever plan we have, we pray, oh God, that you do exceedingly, you do abundantly, far above all that we can ask or think. In the name of Jesus, Repakoshata, Ikapelele Shkapa, Rekandigadashkapa, Rapadoshkapaya, Ekavala Laboshkapa, Ragadashkapa, Ragadashkapa, Lepandoshkapa, Lekabaloshkapa, Lekadegeshkapa, Ragatagada, Ragatalaboshke, Yekadegeleshkapa, Ekapalaloshkapa, Lagatagalaba, Apando 
Moscapaya, Ika Vela La Mashkapa, La Brasopa. We are like the small boy who had five loaves of bread and two fish. I believe he had plans for them, but he surrendered them to Jesus. And the Bible said, after he had given thanks and broken it, he shared it for the five thousand, and there were twelve baskets left over. Oh God, we pray tonight in 2024. We will have leftover baskets in the name of Jesus. We will have 12 baskets overflowing with your goodness because we have surrendered our plans unto you. The Bible said in Psalm 37, from verse 5 to 6, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Tonight, oh God, we surrender our will to you, we surrender our ways to you. Bring it to pass by the end of 2024, by the end of December this year, we will testify and say the Lord has brought it to pass. We'll testify and we'll say, see what the Lord has done. Kapilos Kataya, Eredushe Kataya, E Kapilos Kataya, Labos Kapaya, Rakatabaya, Akapayos Kapa, Rakatalabos Kapa. Our plans will succeed, our plans will not fail. We plan to marry it will succeed we plan to go to school it will succeed we plan to enter into business it will succeed we plan to expand it will succeed we plan to buy land it will succeed we plan to do business it will succeed we plan to go far it will succeed in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, put your hands together for Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say, this is the last prayer topic. So neighbor, get ready to pray. Say, neighbor, I know you are tired, but you will pray. First Kings chapter 17. First Kings 17 from verse 5 to 8. First Kings 17 from verse 5 to 8 talking about elijah it says that then as he lay and slept under a broom tree suddenly an angel touched him and said to him arise and eat turn to your neighbor and say arise and eat if your neighbor is sleeping shake your neighbor and say neighbor arise and eat then he looked and there by his head was a cake baked on coals and a jar of water so he ate and drank and lay down again and i love this one and the angel of the lord came back the second time and touched him and said arise and eat because the journey is too great for you turn to your neighbor once again and say neighbor arise and eat the journey is too great for you so he arose and ate and drank and when and he went in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights as far as Horeb, the mountain of God. Hallelujah. We are about to arise and eat. And tonight you want to ask God for divine strength to go through the year. Receive the ministration of angels and the supply of the spirit throughout this year. I didn't hear your amen. So we are praying first of all, asking God for divine strength to go through this year. And you are receiving the ministration of angels and the supply of the spirit like it happened to elijah throughout this year you want to lift up your voice and pray you want to lift up your voice and pray the bible said the angel said to him arise and eat for the journey is far tonight we want to arise and pray we want to arise and get some strength we want to arise and lay hold of the strength of god because the journey is great the journey is too far i know you have prayed some for some while but it is time to pray some more i know you fasted for the year but it is time to fast some more i know you have prayed already but it is time to pray some more the angel woke him up a second time and said arise and eat for the journey is too great for you lord god in this year 2024 may we receive divine strength to go through the year we will not stop on the way we will not be tired we will not give up we receive divine strength in the name of jesus proverbs 24 10 if you faint in the day of adversity your strength is
is little. We pray, oh God, our strength will not be little throughout this year. Our strength will not fail. Our strength will not dwindle. Hebrews 11, 11. And by faith, Sarah herself received strength to conceive. Lord, tonight, we receive strength to pick to bear everything you have spoken in 2024. We will not abort it. We will not miscarry. We will carry our seed right down to the end of the year because you are giving us strength. Somebody receive divine strength. Somebody ask God for divine strength. Somebody cry out to God and say, God, give me strength for the year 2024. I will not give up in June. I will not give up in March. I will not give up in February. I will not give up in November. I will go through to the end of the year. The Bible said there were ten virgins. Five were wise. Five were foolish. The foolish virgins did not have extra oil. But Lord God, we pray, we'll be like the wise virgins. We will ask for extra. Give us extra strength. Give us extra oil for the year. In the name of Jesus, we will not lack your oil. We will not lack your power. We will not lack your grace. Cabelos kata, cavenos kata, rabados kapa, ragashadapa, ragatalabashka, regadalaboskapa, regashedepe, ragashata, raboskapa. Tonight, somebody's receiving divine strength. Tonight, somebody's taking divine strength to go through the year because of this prayer tonight. You run through the year because of your prayer tonight. You run through the year with strength, with vigor. You'll not be like Hezekiah who said, Lord, the time has come for the children to be born, but there's no strength to bring them forth. We will bring forth our children, we'll bring forth our dreams, we'll bring forth our plans, we'll lay hold of that breakthrough because we have received divine strength. Kabilos Kataya, Ependos Apaya, and Rebeskota, Rabos Kapaya, Labos Kata, and you want to receive the administration of angels and the supply of the spirit throughout the year. The Bible said when Jesus had prayed and he was in agony, angels came and strengthened him. This year, angels will minister to us. La Polos Kapaya, the Bible said in Hebrews 1, are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to those who have received salvation? Kabilos Kapaya, Ekabados Ata, Rebo Shata, Rabo Shata, Ekabano Shata. And we receive the supply of the Spirit in our lives. In the name of Jesus, the Bible said in Romans 8 that if that same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he will quicken your mortal bodies. Even as he quickened Christ, we receive tonight the supply of the spirit we receive tonight divine grace we receive tonight divine strength to run through the year we will run through a troop we will leap over walls by our God we will not get tired we will not give up even the young men will go weary and the youth will faint but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength tonight as we wait on God our strength will be renewed our grace will be renewed our vigor will be renewed we will receive strength like the strength of the eagle somebody push in prayer somebody push in prayer you are receiving strength you are receiving strength the supply of strength is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus you want to lift up your hands towards heaven and you want to thank God for hearing you you want to thank God 
for hearing your prayer you want to thank God that divine strength is your portion you want to thank God that divine guidance is your portion you will not miss your way this year you are making the right decisions in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we bless you Lord we thank you Lord we give you the praise Lord we give you the glory we bless your name for what you are doing what you are going to do in the name of Jesus our strength thy grace thy word
our hands together for the Lord. I said, let's put our hands together for the Lord, the Most High God. And we have uh, crossed into a new day. Hallelujah. We have crossed into a new day. Hallelujah. And we will continue with our prayers. Hallelujah. And I like what Pastor Henry said. He said, you know, if your neighbor seems like he or she is falling away, tap the person and say, please don't sleep yet. Encourage me to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to encourage your neighbor to pray and you are going to encourage yourself also to pray as well. Amen. This segment will be praying on protection. We are going to ask for God's protection on our lives, on our families, on our business and, and all. But we will start by thanking God for the promise of angelic protection in his word. And you want to speak divine covering over your going out and your coming in. And when, when, when Jacob was on the road from Bathsheba to Haran, uh, he met the Lord and this is what the Lord said to him in Genesis 28 verse 15. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you hallelujah this should give you some assurance that this God that we serve he knows our lives and he knows everything about us he knows where we are going he knows where we are coming and we want to thank him because he's God and his promise that he will visit us if you are able you would want to stand and begin to talk to God and thank him if you want to sit, feel free to sit, but you have to pray. You have to talk to God because God is here to hear you. God is here to listen to your prayer. Begin to talk to God and thank him. Bless his name for his protection that he has spoken to us in his word. His assurance of protection. His assurance that he will keep us. He will watch over our lives. He will keep us from evil, from danger. Let's thank him. Let's bless his name. Let's give him glory this morning. Let's praise his name for our God is good. We thank you maker of heaven. We give you glory and honor for your word that assures us all oh, yes that you will always be with us. That you will protect us. That you will keep us. That you will watch over our lives in our going out and in our coming in. We give you glory and praise God. We give you thanks oh Lord for you deserve the thanks. You deserve our praise today. You deserve oh Lord that your people lift up hands and give you praise and glory and honor and exalt your name for you deserve it. Thank you for the things you do for us, Lord. You command your angels to guide us. They hold us. They direct us. We thank you, oh most high God. Thank you for your spirit that leads us, your spirit that guides us, that directs us. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you, oh Lord. And indeed, those of us who call your name, we will receive rejoice we will be glad because you God is on our side you God you watch of our lives and you keep us from danger you keep us from harm we give you praise we give you glory we thank you maker of heaven we give you all the praise and all the glory indeed where would we have been if it hadn't been but for you who's been on our side we give you praise God we lift your name above all names we say take all the glory oh father take all the glory oh God for you deserve it. We praise your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We worship you. Thank you, oh God, for the things you do for us. And we want to thank you for your divine covering on our lives. When we go out, you cover us. When we come in, you cover us. When we step out of our house, you cover us. When we are in the car traveling, you cover us. When we go to the office, you watch over our lives. When we go to the market, you keep us. Oh, most high God. Today we say we thank you and we bless you from the depths of our hearts we say thank you from the inner beings of us Lord we say thank you we bless your holy name we bless your holy name who is like unto you almost high God indeed who is like unto you the one who keeps us 
the one who watches us your eyes move across the length and breadth of the earth watching over our lives directing our paths and we thank you we bless your name lord we give you glory we honor your name lord we bless your name we give you praise god we give you praise god just thank him bless his name because god has been good to you he's been the one who protects you the one who shields you the one who defends you the one who discharges his angels to guide your way in the name of jesus we bless your holy name and in psalm 121 verse 3 to 8 says he will not allow your foot to be moved he who, who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps israel shall not slumber nor sleep the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade at your right hand the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night that is what god does for you day in and day out and you want to praise his name you want to honor him you want to give him glory because indeed the sun will not smite you in the name of jesus you will not dash your foot against a stone because god protects your way god protects your life god guides you in the name of jesus we give you praise lord we give you honor we worship you and we thank you for the things you do for us may your name be praised oh god forevermore may you be honored forevermore for yes you will keep us yes you will watch our lives yes you will direct our paths we bless your name we honor you in the name of jesus may your name oh lord be honored may you be exalted may you be crowned indeed king of kings and lord of lords maker of heaven the one who watches over us we thank you and bless you we honor your holy name we exalt your holy name may you be praised oh god forevermore may you be honored forevermore hallelujah and you want to put your hands together for the lord you want to put your hands together for the lord for protecting your life that is part of your praise that is part of your worship that is part of your thanksgiving put your hands together for the lord for the things that he does for you his protection day in and day out your outgoing and your incoming it's god who watches over you hallelujah so we will move on to the next prayer point and you are going to plead the blood of jesus over your life and your family and you want to pray that any evil voice that speaks against you and your household in this year will be shut up will be silenced that no evil voice will be speaking over your family you will not be the one who will be subjected to evil voices god will shut the mouth of the evil one that you will if you're going to hear a voice it's going to be the voice of the lord hallelujah in exodus chapter 12 verse 23 says for the lord will pass through to strike the egyptians and he will see the blood on the lintel of your doorpost and the lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your house to strike you the destroyer will not have his way in your life because god is going to silence the destroyer hallelujah and isaiah a very favorite verse that we all know 54 verse 17 says no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and the righteousness is from me says the lord begin to talk to god tonight that every evil voice that rises against you will be silenced in the name of jesus and plead the blood of christ on your family and on your life in jesus name the blood of jesus that speaks much much better than that of animal that of the what the abel did that blood will speak for you will cover you will cover your family will cover your business will cover everything that concerns you your children your home the blood of jesus will cover it begin to talk to god tonight this morning talk to god plead the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood in the name of jesus the blood has power the blood has power the blood has power talk to god today and ask him that he will cover you he will cover your family when you step out he will cover you in the name of jesus let your blood oh god speak for us in the name of jesus let the blood that was shed on the cross of calvary standing for us in the name of jesus no voice of the enemy will prevail in our lives in the name of jesus we silence the voices of defeat 
in the name of Jesus and a voice that is not of you Lord we silence it in the name of Jesus evil voices voices of condemnation we silence them in the name of Jesus no voice of the enemy will sound in our ears in the name of Jesus we shut the mouth of the devourer we shut the mouth of the destroyer we shut the voices of evil forces in the name of Jesus may we hear your voice and your voice alone your voice of direction your voice of direction your voice of guidance in the name of Jesus your voice that shows us the way we should go that is the voice we will hear in the name of Jesus we bind every work of the enemy the voice of the enemy the voice of the enemy voices that sound and influences us negatively we silence those voices in the name of Jesus we will not be influenced negatively by any voice when we hear a voice it will be your voice Lord in the mighty name of Jesus we will not hear any dreadful sounds oh yes Lord yes Lord we cancel every voice of the enemy in the name of Jesus the voice of fear we cancel it in the name of Jesus the voice of intimidation we cancel it in the name of Jesus may we hear your voice and your voice alone Lord may we hear only your voice your voice to direct us your voice to show us where we should go in the name of Jesus it shall be the voice of the Holy Ghost it shall be the voice of the Most High God not a voice of defeat not a voice of the evil one in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus will cover us the blood of Jesus will cover our families yes Lord yes Lord the blood is alive the blood continues to speak and the blood will cover you you shall not fear you shall not be afraid in the name of Jesus because the blood of Jesus still speaks the blood of Jesus is still a mark that the Lord looks to and say I will pardon in the name of Jesus yes Lord yes Lord it shall be the voice of the Holy Ghost it shall be the voice of encouragement it shall be the sound of upliftment in the name of Jesus if we hear a voice it shall be a voice of breakthrough the voice of rejoicing in the name of Jesus it will not be the voice of mourning the voice of crying it shall be the voice of joy in the name of Jesus thank you O Lord that your voice will speak O Lord your voice is what we will hear when we wake up in the morning we will hear your voice in the afternoon we will hear your voice in the deep night we will hear your voice in the name of Jesus in our dreams we will hear you talk to us in the name of the Lord Jesus yes Lord thank you that your voice will be heard in our dwellings your voice will be heard in our business your voice will be heard by our children your voice will be heard by our spouse in the name of Jesus yes Lord my call yes Lord that's our Maros Kabaya yes the Lord will speak to you the Lord will speak to your heart the voice of God will sound in your heart you will hear him speak it will not be the voice of the devil it will not be the voice of the evil one it will not be any voice that of the evil one that speaks against you it will be the voice of blessings 
the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord. When we are confused, when we are afraid, when we don't know what to do, we will hear God's voice. Not a voice that will compound our confusion, not a voice that will distract us, not a voice that will lead us astray. Yes, your voice, Lord. Yes, your voice, Lord. As the evil voices are silenced, the voice of God will be prominent in our lives. The voice of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We see the blood. The blood on our lives covering us, Lord. Shield us, Lord, by your blood. That you indeed, Lord, will be our refuge, the one to whom we'll run for shelter. Yes, Lord. The voice that you used to hear that frightens you, that voice is silenced in the name of Jesus. The voices you hear that makes you cry, those voices are silent. You're going to hear the voice of joy. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Naraba Kazabataya. You call the Parian de Reba Kuzabaya, Pandaraba Bai Kosahala Ilehiataka. Yes, Lord, Ikuzayondesh, Kalemadu Zakaya. That the enemy's voice is silenced in the midst of your people. That your people will not be led astray by strange voices. We will hear your voice, your voice, your voice, your voice. As the good shepherd, we will hear your voice. And you call us into your fold, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Merosi andele makuza la barash kabala la madosi kaya. Imarosi brianta ruska veriando robojika. Your name be praised. Your name be honored. Your name be glorified, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. You want to put your hands together for the Lord? We move on to the next prayer point and you are going to come against every scheme of the wicked one to steal, to kill, or to destroy your business, your property, your career, or your relationships. There's only one person that we know who comes with an agenda to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that fellow is the devil. He's got no good thing that he will do for you when he comes your way. His agenda is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But we have a God. And so to, today we are going to stand and war against this evil one. That none of his wicked plans and agenda against your business to steal it, to kill it, or to destroy it. Your relationship to destroy it. 
or your business to destroy it, it would not happen. Because today, you are standing in the presence of the Most High God and you are calling on Him for help. And you want to boldly confess double-fold restoration of every good thing that the enemy took away from you. You're going to get it back. Hallelujah. I said you're going to get it back. Hallelujah. And you will get it back in double-fold. Hallelujah. You will not just get that same thing, but in double fold because today as you stand before God and cry to him, he's going to hear you. Begin to talk to God today. Speak to God for his help. The enemy cannot destroy. The enemy cannot destroy what you have built. The strength God gave you to build, to do things that you've done, the enemy cannot destroy it. The enemy cannot destroy it. Today you want to pray that God come my way and help me. As I shut the mouth of the enemy, I stop him from destruction, I stop him from stealing, and I stop him from killing. It will not be your property, it will not be your business, it will not be your career, it will not be your relationships. God will help you to, today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, stop the enemy, resist him, prevent him from having his way in your business in the name of Jesus and as you call on God today there's going to be a double fold restoration for you the things that you lost you will get them back the things that you lost you will get them back if a business collapse you will build back again you will build it back again in the name of Jesus thank you God because we know you are not the one who destroys you build it's the devil that destroys and today we come against the devil the devil will not have his way he will not destroy our businesses he will not destroy our families he will not destroy our career he will not destroy our relationships in the name of jesus help us lord strengthen us that what you have helped us to build will stand in the name of jesus what you help us to build will stand in the name of Jesus. And whatever the enemy has stolen, you will bring back to us in double fold. In the name of Jesus, we receive it. Continue to pray. Double fold is coming your way. Double fold is coming your way. Double fold blessings are coming your way. In the name of Jesus, continue to pray. Continue to push on. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we are not about Shakaba. We receive it, Lord. It will come our way. Our businesses will rise up. Our businesses will flourish. Our businesses will do well in the name of Jesus. Because you are with us, Lord. The enemy cannot destroy it. The enemy cannot stop us. The enemy cannot prevent us. In the name of Jesus. You are God. You are our strength. You are our helper. The one who helps us to build. And you will bring back to us again, Lord. You will restore to us, Lord, those things that the enemy took away from us. And as you said in your word, so you will restore to us the yes that the swarming locusts have eaten. You will bring back to us, Lord, more than those. What the crawling locusts took we will receive in the name of Jesus. And what the consuming locusts consume will come back to us in the name of Jesus. If they were chewed up by chewing locusts, you will bring back to us again in the name of Jesus. We look forward to your help, Lord. We look to you for your help, Lord. For a double fold restoration in the name of Jesus. We will get back, oh Lord. We will get the things back. We will get everything that we've lost. The things that we toiled for, that we lost, that the enemy took away, you will bring back to us in the name of Jesus. If it's happiness in the marriage that the enemy has taken out, it's coming back in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. If the children that are going wayward, the Lord is bringing them back home in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not destroy them. The enemy will not crush their dreams. 
the enemy will not destroy their career in the name of Jesus yes Lord revive 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus he calls the Barundish Kapala Babari La Kadoska Bari and the high. We look to you, God, for your help. That you will bring back to us, Lord, more than we lost. Like you did for Job. Double portion, Lord, you will do for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus. You want to put your hands together for the Lord? You want to give the Lord a shout? It is a praise, it is a praise, it is a praise, it is a praise you are giving to the Lord. Give the Lord praise, hallelujah. We move on to the next prayer point and you are praying for divine protection over the borders of this nation and over its people. And then you want to arrest every evil spirit of confusion and bloodshed that seeks to work against our nation. And I read from Psalm 112, verses 6 and 7. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem and may they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. Isaiah 60, verse 18 says, violence shall no longer be heard in your land neither wasting nor destruction within your borders but you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise and psalm 147 verse 12 to 14 says praise the lord O jerusalem praise your god O zion for he has strengthened the bars of your gate he has blessed your children within you he makes peace in your borders and he fills you with the finest wheat so that's what you are praying for. That our nation, God will seal the borders of our nation and prevent any evil from finding place in our nation. And one will pray for the people within the nation that God will keep us. There will be no bloodshed, no confusions, and nothing of the enemy will prevail. Begin to talk to God about your nation in the name of Jesus. We are in it together. We live in the nation together. And in the peace of the nation, we have our peace. If it goes well for our nation, it goes well with us. And so today, as we stand, as people of God, we can cry to our God, and he will hear us. We can plead with him for safety in our nation. He will hear us. In the name of Jesus. For in our nation's peace, we have our peace. If our nation prospers, we also prosper. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That on the southern borders, the northern borders, the eastern and the western borders of the nation, there will be peace. In all the regions of our nation, there will be calmness in the name of Jesus. There will be no bloodshed, there will be no confusion. The enemy will not have his way. Is the enemy who is the author of confusion? You are not Lord. You bring peace. Today we pray God that we shall see peace in this nation. There will be no confusion that will breed in this nation, Lord. The places that I refer to as trouble spots, may your spirit move and take control over those areas touch the hearts of men and women and tame them by your power in the name of Jesus the enemy will not be able to destroy anything in our nation in the name of the Lord Jesus there will be peace within our walls in the name of Jesus there will be no wasting or distractions in our borders. Our borders will be called salvation. Our gates will be called praise. For you, God, you have heard our request today. You've heard our cry. You've heard our petition. And you will help us. 
you will hear us Lord you will hear us Lord our nation will experience peace in peace we will see progress Lord in peace we will see safety may your name be praised Lord as you help us oh Lord That we will not run out of our nation seeking for help elsewhere. You have determined our boundaries, Lord. You have planted us in this land. Thank you. Thank you. That from the length and breadth of the nation, everywhere you go, you will see peace. We praise your name. We give you glory. We honor you. Hallelujah. We go on to our next prayer point, and you're going to ask God to grant our nation or our national and world leaders divine wisdom to make the right decisions towards world peace and you want to cancel every negative decree that will seek to jeopardize God's plan for your life we need our nations and our, in our world we need the leaders to make the right decisions so that there would be peace they need to make the right decisions that will lead to peace not war and we want to cancel any decree that seeks to jeopardize God's plans for your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 7 says, And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away in captivity, and pray for the Lord for it. For in its peace you will have peace. For in its peace you will have peace. Hallelujah. And so you want to pray that our leaders would make right decisions. They will not be in haste to go for war because they've got ammunition. But they would do the things that will bring peace. Amen. Elsewhere in the world, there is chaos, there is killings and destruction and all that. But I want to pray that God, those who make the decisions, they will think about the destruction going on and make alternative decisions. God can influence them to make decisions that will bring peace. You want to begin to pray and talk to God. Ask Him for help. God will help us. It's only God. It's only God. It's only God. It is only God. So that we can see peace in the world. We can see peace all over the world. In all countries, there will be peace. In the name of Jesus. Our Savior is the Prince of Peace. And as we call on God today for our leaders, He will endow them with wisdom to make the right decisions and the right choices. The right decisions, the right policy choices, that we will see peace in the world. Thank you, Lord. Let's see peace, Lord, in the northern parts, in the southern parts, the eastern, everywhere, Lord, let's see peace. As leaders meet to take decisions, influence their heart, influence their thinking. In the name of Jesus, influence them to make the right decisions in the name of Jesus that the distractions will cease the distractions will come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus we rise against every work of the enemy every decree of the enemy that seeks to jeopardize your plans for our lives We destroy that plan of the enemy 
will destroy that plan of the enemy any agenda of the enemy to wreak havoc in our lives we stop it in this tracks in the name of Jesus oh yes Lord peace within our borders peace in our nations peace in the world yes Lord you all God are going to grant us peace that we will experience peace Peace in our world, Lord. Peace in our world, Lord. Peace in our world. Rayoski and Roboska Bahala Varianda Rabakosi and Telemolori in the Kabazahai. And your peace, Lord. Rayoski Lababori and Rabakaza Ilabadoski and Balababa. Influence their decisions, Lord. Influence their thinking. Yes, that there will be peace, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He could see your palorea and alaba, could see your palama shikaba baba korea and alaba. The royal ski palaba moro and alaba kaba bakaba. Yeo sabela barushka bala ila maro and terrible kozaito la mamaika and the sea and dashkova. Yes, Lord, as we pray for our kings and our leaders, the people who lead us. Hear us, Lord. Touch their hearts, Lord. Ikuza pari lo balola sikia. Ye maros kabala baba yanda kataba zaila haba. Ye marusi balola baba ile motaka. That you remove those who are not ready to participate in peace talks, Lord. In your sayoki do zaila maroka andere maha. Yes, Lord, because I decant day in the Olo Subaha. Is so much Kapala Babarianda Eta Kamara da Saha. Robo Shabia da Ila Kora Sahaka. We thank you, Lord, for we will begin to experience peace in our nation and in our world because you are influencing our leaders to make decisions that will bring peace. We give you glory and praise. We we'll give you honor. We exalt you. We praise you. You want to put your hands together for the Lord? You want to put your hands together for the Lord? You want to praise the Lord? The psalmist said, but you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. You want to thank the Lord for hearing you in your prayer today and responding to your call. You've asked him to protect you. You've asked him to, to, to give you protection from the works of the evil one, to shut the voices of the evil one. And you've prayed to him to give wisdom to your leaders so that they make decisions that will bring peace. God has heard you and you want to give him praise. You want to thank him. You want to bless his name. You want to give him glory. You want to shout to the Lord. You want to scream and say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the praise and worship team. I have more than a song today. I run myself. I am your sacrifice. Come on, let's.
let's worship. I am more than a song. I'm your worship. I am your worship. One more time, say. I have more than a song today. Today, I brought myself. I am your sacrifice.
Hallelujah. So this awesome God that we have been singing about, we are at the point where we are going to pray on the theme, God. So you are not going to sleep, you are not going to fall away, you are going to be active as we pray on this theme. And please help me welcome God's servant, Pastor Daniel Frimpong to lead us. Oh, let's put our hands together for Reverend Mike. Put your hands together for him. This is God here. Yeah. Oh, please, uh, if, if you want, you can still sit. Uh, if you want to stand, stand. But make sure you are with us. In God's year, uh, the year is a good year. Oh, I didn't hear you aim me for that. Yeah, this is God's year, and the year is a good year. Amen. We are so grateful. We thank God for the fire already in the house. And I know, I know, he will keep the fire. So we will wait until prophet comes. We will not sleep. Put your hands together for the Lord. Our first prayer point is I want to praise the Lord for his power and love for you and ask him to reveal himself to you in a new way this year. Praise the Lord for his power and his love for you. And also want to ask him to reveal himself to you in a new way this year. You know that Second Peter chapter 1, the third verse, says that as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. God has given us all that we need to be successful in this life and even in the life that is to come. And this night we just want to bless him. We just want to bless God. Thank him for his love for us and his power that enables us to do the things we are not even able to do. Just begin to thank him Begin to thank him, begin to bless him, begin to bless him, begin to bless him. And Psalm 103 also talk about the benefits, the benefit that God daily, constant basis give us. Just begin to thank him, begin to thank him. He forgives our sins, he heals our diseases, he delivers us from the powers of darkness. Renew our youth like that of the eagle. Just begin to bless him. Just begin to bless him. He crowns our life with his loving kindness and tender mercies. He is God and he does all this because he loves us. Just lift up your voice tonight. Just lift up your voice tonight and thank this great God. Bless this great God. Celebrate this great God. There is no one like him. Thank you. Bo Rakasaranaya. Mandiribo Shinkaraba Sekayana. Lift up your voice tonight and begin to praise the Lord for his power and his love for us. Because he loved us, Jesus died for us. Because Jesus loves us, he doesn't want to stay in heaven alone. Jesus needs us in heaven so we can be part of his glory. Just begin to thank him tonight. Begin to thank him. Lift up your voice and thank him. The Lord has always been good to, to us. Even the opportunity to be here. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank God. God has been good. God has been good. And he will always be good to us. Kiro rabo shanere kasanaya. Makarande rabo shanara basonere kataya. Meana rabo zono rabo sekeyande reba korea rabasaya. Thank God for our families, thank God for our husbands, thank God for our wives. Bless God, bless God for our businesses, bless God for our children in school. Thank God for the opportunity God gives us to be able to do the things we do. Here we are, Mataya, Kebakorobo Sekataya. Thank Him that you are alive. Thank Him that you are alive and you are blessing His name. Thank him, thank him, praise the Lord. Hero Sone Katasaya. Mashonolobo Sekata is not. No one is like our God. There's none. There's none like our God. 
He is glorious in holiness. He is fearful in praise. He abounds in mercy. And his name is Emmanuel. He is always with his people. Lift up your voice tonight. Lift up your voice tonight and bless him. Lero Rabo Shandara Kataya. Liandere Moshenere Kotasaya. Mayanda Rama Kandere Boshene. Makandere Boshekaya Naramana. Yo Rama Masonde Kataya. Mashendo Lobo Sekayana. Lekondo Robo Sekataya Naya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord Rabo Sekataya. And ask him to reveal himself to you in a new way this year. Lord, with that revelation, we will not know you. You reveal yourself to Abraham. You reveal yourself to Jacob and even Moses. You reveal yourself to Moses, Lord. It is our time to reveal yourself to us in another way, in another dimension. You have revealed yourself to us as our healer. You have been our shepherd you have been our defense you have been our shield lord reveal more and more of yourself in this new year in this new season in the name of jesus reveal yourself in a new way this year reveal yourself more and more this year we want to know you and know you more we want to know and know you better in the name of Jesus. Lerande kato sataya, mashenderebo kataya, baranderebo shenderemana, kiandaraba sanaramaya. Bless his name tonight. Continue to bless his name tonight. Ask the Lord to reveal himself to you more and more. May we know him more and more this year. In the name of Jesus. Ko rababara sandaraba. Yenderebe sandarebo katayana. Mayanderebo shenderebo ruwanaya. Kenderebo shakatasaya. Marendo robo shekataya. Marobo shekatasa. Reveal yourself to us in another dimension. Reveal yourself to us in new ways. Reveal your way to us. Lero shekaraba. Bekara sandarama nataya. Boronderebo kayandara masaya. We give a praise, we give a glory. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Because you will do it. You will reveal yourself to us. We will know you more and more and more. We will know you more and more and more. Rabo, Rabo, Shanaraka, Makoto, Sekataya, Makarabo, Shanaromanaya, Lira Masono, Robo, Sekataya, Mara Masono, Robo, Tesakatoya, Buriana Maseki, and Remanaya. Thank you, Lord. We give a praise, we give a glory. We thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself this year in a new way to us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. We are taking the next point. El Shaddai. We want to pray that God will sustain you in good health and vitality. Ask him to reveal himself as the all-sufficient one in every area of lack in your life. Don't you think this prayer is very powerful? So you are going to pray as never before. Let's move on. Let's pray. El Shaddai is God Almighty. Nothing is difficult for this God. With men, things can be impossible. But with this God, all things all things are possible he revealed himself to abraham that i am god almighty walk before me and be blameless on that same day he said i will make you father of many nations 99 year old man but it happened because this man no purpose of his can be required from him no purpose, no plan, what he intends to do, his will can never be overturned. When he says yes, it is yes. When he says no, it is no. Karo Moshe Kataya, Maronde Kato Senerebe. Lift your voice tonight. Lift your voice tonight and begin to pray that God will sustain us with good health, with vitality. And we want to ask him to reveal himself as the all sufficient one in every area of lack in our lives. Lendo Robo Shakataya. 
It is wished that we we'll prosper and they be in health. Even as our soul prosperous. So the Lord's desire is that He will sustain us in good health. He will sustain us. He will sustain our family. He will sustain our home. He will sustain our children. We will have life and we have it more abundantly. We will have energy. We will always be alive in the name of Jesus. Our body, our soul, our spirit will be vitalized in the name of Jesus. Contrary to talk to him tonight. Lerande kasana ramana. Mashe dolobo shekatora. Makaro dolobo shekataya. Mashe kato senerebe. Boroko to senarama. Mayanderebo shanaramana. Kemanderebo shekatasaya. Mashe dolobo shekatarama. Mashe dolobo sanaya. Oh Lord, mara masana rama. Mashe dolobo karebo shekataya. Manderebe shonorobo sekataya marama senoromanam sustain us in good health sustain us in vitality sustain us in good health let us prosper in our health let us prosper spiritually let us prosper physically let us prosper emotionally let us prosper financially in the mighty name of Jesus le norobo shanarakaya bada nerebo ketasaya basheko to senerebe bodakaro senerebe Shanda Raba Sakataya, Marande Romo Sanaya, Marere Araba Katorobo, Bokoto Sonorobo Tasaya, Mashede Rebo Kataya Naraba, Erobo Sedaramanaya. Talk to him tonight, somebody talk to God tonight, somebody talk to God tonight. He will sustain us, He will sustain us, we will live long, Nathan will cut our life short. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray much for that, will be far out from us. In the name of Jesus, Narabo Sataya, Kimanderebo Shataraba, Baranderebo Shadaraka, Makata Sekatorobo, Masenderomana. And he will reveal himself in any area of lack in our life. If we need to be touched by his healing, by the power of healing, tonight the Lord will reveal himself. He will reveal himself as a healer. He will reveal himself as a strength. He will reveal himself as a protector. He will reveal himself as a defense. Just begin to talk to him tonight. Every area of need is more than able. This is the ever sufficient God. Talk to him tonight. Sanayanara, Kibarabo Shenerebo Rwana, Kamanderebo Katose Romana, Mamanderebo Shekatasaya, Makato Sekataya, Makatase Namaya. He revealed himself to Moses and he said that I am who I am. I am who I am. I am your healer. I am your strength. I am your defense. I am your shield. I am your protector. Oh, whatever. I am your source. Your source, the source of life. Nemo Shadere Kataya May he reveal himself to you as who he is. What he wants to do, he will go to do that. Talk to him tonight. Talk to him tonight. Every area of need, may you experience it right now. May it happen to you right now. May you receive it in this service. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will never have any, any need. We will never lack any good thing because you meet every need of ours in this service right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Rabara Sandere Manaya, Kiyanere Bo Sandere Bo Ruanaba, Kibondo Bo Sheketa Sandere Mana, Mama Yanere Bo Sandere Manaya. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those who are weak, we know strength is coming. Those who are down, we know you will lift them up, Lord. Kirabo Shekatasaya, Marendiko Siki Yandere Manaya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give a praise. We give a praise. You will renew our strength and we will march up with wings like the eagle, Lord. We will run and we will never be weary. And we will walk and we shall not faint. We give a praise tonight. We give a glory tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for the Lord tonight. We are still praying. And we move on to Eroy. 
a roy hallelujah we want to boldly confess a roy is god who sees he sees me he sees you and he sees the challenges you are going through nothing is hidden before him a roy boldly confess that the god who sees will expose every work of darkness around you and we want you to prophesy that you are receiving a great reward for all your efforts either seen or unseen and if you check scriptures the Midianites and then Gideon hmm? that story is an example of having uh, some wickedness around you you know when there's darkness close to you you cannot make any progress the Midianite will sow the Israelites will sow and the Midianites will come and destroy so it means that whatever you were investing and you know we must have returns for for our, our investments but they will invest no return because of that darkness around but tonight tonight God is in the house angels are here we have come to heavenly Jerusalem yes and we declare boldly we confess boldly that the God who sees will expose every work of darkness around you around your family begin to declare tonight begin to declare tonight we cancel it we cancel it if Gideon and his army they were able to conquer the Midianites then tonight tonight is our night tonight things will change there will be a transformation God will work a new work in our lives come to him tonight Le shonere kataya makata se kataya mashendoro mo sandere me mama kataya le kotoso tasaya when there's darkness around us you cannot make progress your God will take three steps forward you take ten steps backwards tonight lift up your voice begin to destroy begin to confess that the Lord who sees will expose and get them out of the way and show that the darkness is dispelled and the light of God appears let the shakara basol Nekaya nere mo shandaraba, bakono robo shekia nere ma, makata sataya. Let up your voice tonight. Let up your voice tonight. Every darkness around us, around our families, in our homes, in our businesses, will be exposed in the name of Jesus. Sharo kabo rakataya, bashono robo shekataya, mara masono roma. Somebody talk to the Lord tonight. So that will never be the same from tonight. From tonight, no more darkness. Every darkness has been dispelled in the name of Jesus. Kanere bo shanara mataya, raba babo deka yandere masana raba. Kendo robo shanere bo kase nara mana. Mama yando robo sheke yando bo sheke yandara ma. Mama mama mama, lack of progress and lack of productivity will be something of the past. Whatever we sow, we will reap a hundredfold. In the mighty name of Jesus, we prophesy that we are receiving a great reward. Whatever we sow, we will reap a hundredfold. Whatever we sow, we will reap a hundredfold. We shall have returns on our investment. In the name of Jesus, shout the Kata, Makoto se kataya, Bashe karobo se nerebe, Bokaya nerebe shakataya, Barobo se katasa, Makoto se namaya. Let up your voice tonight. Let up your voice tonight. Let up your voice tonight. Mo sheka ya narama, makanda rama oriana, makanda rebo shana rama na, kamo nerebo sheka ya narama, makata saya. Ya nerebo rebo shana nerebo rwana, be ya nerebo sheka ya narama se nerema na, be ya nerebo sheka ya nerebo sataya, bo kata saya, be ya nerebo kia narama sana rama. Let's take the song, let's take the song. Ah, some God.
rise together for the Lord tonight. We are still praying. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. And we want to pray that God will supply all your spiritual, emotional, financial, and physical needs all throughout the year 2024. That this year, we shall never lack in a good thing. Yeah, it will come in good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. We will walk in the overflow. Begin to talk to him tonight. Hey, this year is our year. It's God year. It's a good year. We shall never lack in a good thing. In the name of Jesus. All our emotional needs, all our physical needs, all our financial needs, all our spiritual needs will be met, will be met, will be met. Not according to the resources of Ghana, but according to him, the riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Talk to him tonight. Let the robo shakaramana. Yorobo robo shenerebo katasaya. Makaya nerebo shekatasanama. Our God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Sharon the robo kasanayana. Let up your voice and talk to him tonight. God's year is a year. God's year is a good year. So Jehovah Jireh, going before us, will ensure that all our needs are met. God bless us, press down, shaking together, running over. We step into overflow. We step into overflow. We step into overflow of abundance. In the name of Jesus, le shane rebo kata, ba shane rebo kasoya, ba kato shane rebe, bo kata saya, ma 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 ya, ma ma ya sono rebo. Talk to him tonight. Talk to him tonight. Kuraba bo shane re manaya, mi maraba rebo rebo shane rebo bo kata saya, ma 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 shane kata saya. We move, we move from that now to more than enough. In the name of Jesus, shane rebo kata sa. Back up, back up, send it back. Back up, back up, send it back. Back up, that's how you are now. We move from not enough to more than enough because we step in the overflow. In the name of Jesus, Sharon the Mokasa yana, Makata seno Romana ma, and the supply will be exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or we can even imagine. In the name of Jesus, Lebo no robo shana raba, keko robo she kata sayana ma, mama ya no Romana ya. We will never lack in a good thing. We will never lack in a good thing. We will never lack in a good thing. The situation will change. Our position will change. We will move from not enough to more than enough. We will be a channel of blessing in the name of Jesus. Sharon the rebo kasaya, makabane rebo shene ya naraba, kibane bo tose kataya. This year will certainly be a year. This certainly will certainly be a year because the Lord say yes. The Lord say yes. The Lord make us say no. The Lord say yes. The Lord say yes. It is a year. It is a season. We will flourish. We will prosper. We will overflow. In Jesus name. Moro bo shakataya, makono lo bo shenere mana, mama mama kata se le bo shono lo mutaya. Ora baba moro bo shenere moro wana maya. Father we bless you. Father we give you praise. Father we give you glory. Oh raba bo raba bo shenere mana. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord. We take our last prayer point before we thank God for answer prayer. And it's Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. In our prayer, we want to declare, listen to it carefully. This is a very powerful prayer. Declare that from January to December 2024, you will experience divine victory. I am I'm adding back to back. The divine victory is back to back in every battle. And in every challenge, the afflictions of the righteous are many. But this year is going to be victory, is going to be back to back. Celebration will be back to back. Begin to talk to him tonight. Let up your voice and talk to God tonight. Jehovah Nisi will declare from January, January to December, Lord, 
according to your word, we will experience divine victory back to back. Divine victory back to back. In every battle and in every challenge, we know that once we are here on earth, these things are inevitable, but we will always overcome. We will always overcome. With Christ on our side, we are in the majority and we will always overcome. We will overcome them in our families, in our homes, in our businesses, in the lives of our children, in the lives of our husbands, in the lives of our wives and our aunties. We shall overcome them in the name of Jesus. Dr. Hill tonight. Talk to him tonight. Talk to him tonight. The victory will be back to back. Celebration song will be back to back. Shouts of Petro will be back to back. In the name of Jesus. Le Mokato Sataya. Bakoto Se Karaba. Makato Se Shonorobo. Leandara Bakataya. Leandere Boroborobo Shanaraba. Kinere Bo Shanere Baba. Bakato Se Doroba. Bakato Se Nerebo. Bekayanara Masaya. Talk to him tonight. Talk to him tonight. Mama, 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 We cannot fail in this year. We cannot fail in this year. It is a year of celebration. It's a year of sense of joy. It's a year that we will celebrate. We will walk in victory. We will walk in victory from January to December in the name of Jesus. Lenda Raba Shakataya. Maka Lenderebo Shakaya. Bako Mokoto Senere. Baka Yenderebo Shadaramaya. Ora Baba Katasaya. We give a praise, Lord. We give a praise, Lord. We give a glory, Lord. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with us. Because you are with us. And the victory we will experience the victory through Christ. Kanderebo shanara manaya, mama yanderebo shanderebo katasaya, maborobo she katasana maya. Father, we bless you. Begin to thank God for answer prayer. 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 We shall never lack any good thing. We will never lack any good thing. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with us. It is God's year and it's a good year. It's God's year and it's a good year. A year of overflow. Overflow of abundance. In the name of Jesus, it will be given to us in good measure. Press down, shake it together, run over. Jesus' name. Father, we give a praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord tonight. Do it better. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. better for the Lord you can do it better for the Lord even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death I will fear no evil you know why because we get back in hallelujah Don't you call me? Ababa, ba, 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 
Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the contemporary choir. We don't walk alone. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit, the three of them, you see what, they join us, huh? And so we're never going to be alone. Hallelujah. One more time, let's put our hands together for the... But we were here yesterday, started in the evening from about 9 p.m. And those of you who came in uh, around that time, I'm sure you enjoyed some music that came from the Lali, Kukua, Francilla, and Mavis. We want to put our hands together for them for good music. And then we had the young ones, the new breed choir, come here, do their own thing. <laughs> you know, they did their own thing. <laughs> And we want to appreciate our young folks for reminding us one more time that it's our God here. And when I say God, and you say what? And when I say God, and you say what? It is our God here. One more time, put your hands together for the Lord. We have all, we've also praised and we've worshipped God and we have had the praise and worship team come up here, lead us all to worship God. And you want to appreciate them for leading us to worship and to praise God. We have had the band also playing. And let's appreciate them. And then we have had prayer, we had Pastor Emmanuel Masope come up here, Pastor Henry Annabelle come up here, and then Pastor Daniel Frempon also come up here to lead us in praying. And all your prayers, God has heard them. So you want to thank God, and you want to also acknowledge the servants of God, uh, you know, as we... Uh, oh, okay, okay, yes. So I also still was here to lead you in prayer. So let's put our hands together for the Lord. I, I could see some hands pointing this way, so I wasn't sure what it was. But it's time for us to receive God's word. I'm sure when you were coming in here, that is one of the things you were also looking forward to, that God will speak to you after you've prayed, after you've worshipped, that you hear God's word before you leave. This morning, God's word will come to you. And I want you to please, if you're able, stand up as we receive the servant of God, Prophet Christopher Yao Ano. Thank you. 
it, but we'll have it more and more. Hallelujah. How many of you are here alone? How many of you are here alone? Good. So you know you are not here alone. Who is with you? And the host of angels. So that is very refreshing to know that you are not alone. Not only in church, everywhere. Your office, you are not alone. When you sleep, you are not alone. When you are going home, you are not alone. When you are eating, you are not alone. Hallelujah. I will share some few words and if we need to pray, we'll pray. Whatever the Holy Spirit wants to do, uh, I'll give him, we'll give him the chance to uh, minister to us. Jesus in the book of John chapter 11 Jesus was sitting or was with his disciples and a message was brought to him that his best friends in fact anytime he goes to their hometown that place is where he lives therefore the sisters sent to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. How can Jesus love somebody and the person becoming sick? The fact that Jesus loves doesn't mean the devil will not come in. So, Jesus should have rushed to the place to save the situation. But as we continue, it's just one verse I will talk about. It. When, when Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not what? Tell somebody, This sickness is not to death. That's something they think is unto death, but it's not. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. The devil can try his best trying to kick you down, but remember that the situation you're facing is not going to bring death. It's going to bring glory to God. In fact, it is because of this that is why they crucified Jesus. From that day, they started looking for him <laughs> to kill him because something great was done. But look at what happened. I will go and read the story yourself. Eventually, Jesus told them that Lazarus was asleep. Like how you feel sleepy. <laughs> Lazarus was what? And they said, ah. so the disciples looked at it in different way. The moment he said Lazarus was asleep, they thought Lazarus was recovering. When you are sick, you find it difficult to sleep. But when they say you are resting, it means that you are recovering. So oh, if the man is, asleep, is sleeping, it means that he's recovering. 
but they didn't understand. So he spoke in plain word that Lazarus is what? This is not what I'm going to say. The verse 21. He waited after he was dead. Three days then he started to go there. He went. He didn't go to the town. He was standing at the gate there. Martha came and now Martha said to Jesus, verse 21, that's where I want you to know. Lord, if you had been here, my brother will not have died. We sent for you. You refuse to come. Now, the person is dead. If it is Ghanaian, you say, open them. But let's look at the But he continued. Let's continue. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb. No, I, I was. Now, mother said, Lord, if you had been in what? Here, my brother would not have died. Let's continue and see. But this is where I want you to take note. But what? Say even now. Say even now. Say even now. Is her first statement is that it might be late. The thing had already happened. Even what? Even what? Say now. Say now. See, God is a God of now. If God is not the God of now, then he can't be the God of the past. Then he can't even be the God of the future. God is a God of now. Even now. What? I what? Say I know. Say I know. Say I know. It's a key. To answers to prayer. After praying all this prayer, if you don't know, you've wasted your time. You must know that all the words you spoke here, God has heard you. And First John five also says that if we know, then God heard us. That the prayer we pray, God have heard us, then we have the petition. Let me go back. That's where I want to. I know that whatever, but even now, I know that what? Whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Today, whatever you two will ask of God, what? Why will I say that? Because Martha said to Jesus that any time you speak to the Father, to God, the Father, as long as you're on this earth, God hears you. And Jesus also said, in my name. So anytime we come and we stand in the name of Jesus, it's like Jesus asking. I hope you're getting me. So don't let the devil tell you your prayer didn't go anywhere. Whatsoever even now, whatever you ask, what will happen? 
he will give you. And this triggered something. It triggered something. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Your brother will rise again. Your business will resurrect again. Your marriage will be repaired again. Your wife that have gone away which you are looking for will come back again. You that is watching me online, I am speaking to you. Say, Prophet, what about the man? More than. God is not too late. We will rise again. If you have fallen, you will rise again. If things have gone bad, you will rise again. Again, your brother will rise again. Your business will rise again. Your investment will rise again. Your children will rise again. You that take seed. And the seed always becomes, it doesn't stay. You shall have it again. And it shall abide. I see miracles happening. Or miracles must happen in our life. Because Jesus wants to heal you. Jesus wants to touch you. Jesus wants to do something in your life. Your brother shall rise again. Some of us, when we tell her that you take it to the future, she also saw it as a future thing. He said, oh, I know. I know that. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Not today, today. This F here, there, it is not possible. We know when we die, by and by, we'll get to heaven. But you are on F here. Whatever the enemy have taken from you, on this F, we will take it back again. Don't postpone it to next year. This year, we will take it. He said, We know that she be ye, that be the baby ye, yes, the penis is here. Say, Oh, in future, when there is a resurrection, yeah, we know there will be resurrection, but now. He said, I know that now. If you know that now, don't then think about future. It's now. You brought the key. You took the key of now. And you opened the now. And you are now saying future. How are you getting me? So I want you to take it now. Whatever miracle you need, don't postpone it. It can be taken now. And that is what we are going to do. We will not leave home because you told me you are not here alone. Or oh, you didn't say that. Now. Now. We know that whatsoever you ask, it will be done. We know that 
if Christ is in our prayer, the answer is yea and amen. That's why the New Testament, how the New Testament put it. The promises of God are yea and amen. Not maybe. So today, we are going to take it. I will allow those who want to sleep to sleep. I will give you within five minutes, ten minutes, I'm done. This great God who answers prayer, he's always answering prayers. I love this God. He's a prayer answering God. When Pastor Frimpon was speaking, he mentioned something in the book of Judges chapter 6. The Bible says that because of the Midianite, the children of God were impoverished. So people don't become impoverished for nothing. Something is behind poverty. Something is behind your sickness. Something is behind your failures. Something is behind what is creating in your life that makes you uncomfortable. There are some things. Because of the Midianite, so Israel was greatly what? Not small what? Greatly what? Impoverished because of the what? The Midianite. We are going to change it. The Midianite cannot put you under control forever. What they do is that So it was, whenever Israel had sown, Midianites would come up. Also Amalekite and the people of the east will come up against them. They will wait until you sow. That's when they attack you. When you are poor, you don't have anything, they won't come. It is when doors are opening that is when they come just to destroy whatever future that you have. So that they encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza where they are fighting. <laughs> and leave no word sustenance for what? For Israel. But God say he's their sustenance. So they take away their God from them. Their supply. They destroy everything. And we are facing Midianite in our life. The people from the east everywhere. You're doing all your best. But you don't have result. It means that the Midianite is moving it. You sow and they destroy it. Today we are going to put a stop to it. Are you ready for that? And oh look at what for they will come up if come here, okay. Then a point came. Let's look at the six and seven. And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried, what did they do? They cried out to the Lord because of what? The Midianite. So they started praying. Sometimes they and a bumpire. When you are in trouble, you come to all night, you don't sleep. And order. 
So they cry to God. The situation and can make you cry. They produce prayer. Some of us have moved from prayer meetings to prayer meetings to prayer meetings to prayer meetings in the night where you don't sleep. You scan the radio stations wherever they are praying. Whether they are good or bad, you join them. Mebuana. It's not because you want to pray. Because the media night. The media night can force you <laughs> to be a prayer. <laughs> Where was Israel? They never prayed. They never cried to God. They forgot about that God. But when the media night came, God, they cried to God because God always wants to answer prayers. And when they cried to God, look at how God answered them. That the Lord sent what? A prophet to the children of Israel who said to them, that says the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of bondage. Anytime we we'll pray, God's words come. So God, when they prayed, God gave them a prophet to speak the word. And I'm speaking the word to you. Amen. You prayed. And God gave me to you. And I'm telling you that your prayers will be answered. Amen. I said your what? Your prayers will be what? Your prayers will be what? I love it. And Jackie 6, 16. I will be getting... I love this. I love this. And the Lord said to him, surely, let's go to 15. He appeared. <laughs> you can read the rest. If you go home, go and read the rest. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him. You know the one they call him? And said to him, the Lord is with you. You mighty man of Vela. So if you've been reading your Bible, you know the hymn. I won't tell you. Pastor, from where have you mentioned his name? Oh, they mentioned the name. Ah. Gideon said to him, Oh my God, if the Lord is with us, say Yahuwah near Why? Why? Then has all this thing happened to us? Sometimes questions come. Sometimes you look at your condition and you say, am I really born again? Sometimes you ask, God, if you were with me, why is this thing happening to me? You are serving God. You are doing your best. The people who are in the world are fooling, but you see them prospering but you suffering none of your contract have gone through before you invest and the investment go to nothing say so god if you are indeed with me why am i going through this why is my mother sick why have i got disease why have i got this why have i got that you've all been asking those questions you don't use your mouth to see it but in your head it is there Finally, you know what they said? Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianite. Have I not sent you? Have I not sent you? The system is what I want. And look at what he said. 
he was going to do. And that's what he's going to do to your enemies when they multiply. So he said to him, Oh my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh. You know Manasseh? Who is Manasseh? Huh? Joseph is what? Is he the firstborn? Ah. He said, even in Manasseh, I am the weakest. I don't have position. Even in my village, assemblyman from in Sankai, Namakonya honorable. So, God likes people who have no position, who have nothing, who are weak. Then he would take his strength and put it in them to fulfill his grace. God said, you are the candidate. You who feel I can't, I don't have enough money to do that factory. He said, you are the one who will build that factory. So finally, oh. and the Lord said to him, surely I will be what? That's why I asked you, are you alone? You don't just sing that song and dance. You must understand. He said, surely, surely, surely I will be with you. That is what you need. You plus God, you are an army. Anytime God comes on your side, know that you have already won the victory. The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus, isn't it? With what? With what? How spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. You see, whatever you have to do, if God is with you, all things shall be possible. So he said, Look, the key is I God. Your captain, I am with you. And if I'm with you, look at what I'm going to do. Let's look at it. Let me go. Judge the Surely, I am with you. And you shall defeat the Midianite as one man. Are you getting me? He said, the Midianite. You are going to defeat them as what? Huh? They may be plenty. But you are one blue. <laughs> we'll kill all of them. The enemies may multiply, but you will destroy them as one man. Let them come in their numbers. We are going to end them as one man. The only way you can kill them and destroy them as one man is when God is with you. And that is the essence of coming to the all night. We are coming to meet God. We want to soak in God. We want God present to go with us, to be with us. In fact, that is what is called fresh start. That God is going to increase in your life. When you increase in your life, freshness comes. You can start and you can end well. So, we will be doing some battles, isn't it? How many of you want to take your enemy as one man? Say, my, my enemies are plenty. You have one bullet, just use one bullet, kill them. You throw one stone, the stone will move. And when you kill this, all of them will die. David did the same thing. He used one stone. One stone and defeated the Philistines. 
he killed the giant. Bah! And all of them started dying. <laughs> they couldn't face. They started running. And this man, they chased the people. They were afraid and running away. Now they are now chasing them and killing them. And that's what's going to happen to you. So the, the tide has changed. And we're going to fight. Are you ready? Are you ready? I want you now to pray now. You must know that whatever you ask of God, what? He will do it. And today I want to give you the opportunity to ask from God something special in your life. Something strong that you need. And if God will do it, I want you to pray. If for life you can sleep, this time I'm giving you freedom. Those who want to sleep, you can sleep. And those who want to uh, ask, you can ask. So I'm not going to tell you, don't sleep. So we're going to take about five minutes and want to ask God. And you're going to take it and you're going to destroy your enemies. You're going to kill everything that wants to destroy you. And today, you're going to remove whatever is making you poor and impoverished in different kind of life. Spiritual impoverishment, financial impoverishment, in different areas, we've been impoverished. Today, you are going to take yourself free. Begin to pray. Our Father, we pray today, O oh God, that victory is ours. That whatever we say and whatever we pray, O oh God, it shall be done. Lord, we take the word of the Lord, which is the sword of the spirit, and we fight against every enemy. Every enemy. We receive grace for this battle. Lord, we refuse to be bound. We refuse to be threatened. We refuse to be destroyed. We refuse, Lord to run away from our enemy. Lord, you've sent your prophet to us to tell us that we will be able to overcome that enemy and we will destroy them as one man. Lord, we are not going to throw many blows, but we are going to destroy them as one man. You will gather them together and we will kill them once per roster producer. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. The Bible says that before they call, I will answer. God said, I will answer you. He said, I know now that whatsoever you ask of him, he will do it for you. Today, I'm giving you the opportunity, said the Lord, that you can ask, 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 you can ask in the name of Jesus. Today ask, yes, Jeffrey ask, Nakema Anna, Nanayao ask, Kai ask, ask, Michael ask. Today God wants to answer you. Michael ask, Nanayao ask. God wants to pay and touch you wherever you are. God wants to touch you. God wants to answer you. It shall be done. What happened as you connect to this altar and as you pray, may that situation in your life be solved. Even though it might be your problem, you are the one who caused it. May the Lord turn to you and turn to your wife, turn to your family, bring them back. And Lord, parosta praduski, bresta pradaista bresta. Legrosta Praduski Bresta Karanda Kwanda Lagesta Paraduskia La Marasta Prudiki Maanda Skipa Yas Tukura Maruki Maanta Kaya Tukura Shedra Maruki Marakatua I pray for deliverance from sicknesses and diseases and from the attack of the enemy upon the life of many here. In the name of Jesus, Tukura Maruka, Parazum, Resta, Prosta, Paran, Taruka, Tariunda, Baraduskia, Prosta, Paradais, Make, Watalatu, Resta, Praduskima, Maraista, Pruna, Ika, Muka, Master, Kia, Lagrusta, Paraduskia. Today, I pray and command that grace 
and favor shall be yours in the name of Jesus. I want to minister to those who have been impoverished, been pushed by the enemy. I have taken hold of your mind and sometimes that voice tells you you are a failure. There is a very strong voice that is telling you you are a failure. There's a strong voice even telling you that you are going to hell. I want those people to come forward here quickly. Don't waste time. Quickly, just run and don't mind anybody. This is your salvation. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of deliverance. Today is a day that God will set you free. He is casting doubt that God do not exist. Some of you, he said, if God exists and your mind is telling you, is it true that God is alive? Just come. There is a strong voice. There is a strong voice. There's a strong voice, but I hear the blood of Jesus Christ also speaking a new thing unto you. And you're going to leave this place. And I want those sitting down to stretch forth your hand towards this ones and rebuke those voices that comes against their lives. Rebuke those voices that said they will never make it in life. Tonight is a night of freedom. For the first time, some of them will feel free within them. And this voice will never come again. It shall be replaced with a voice of faith, knowing that God is on their side and with them. I want you to stretch forth your hand and let's pray for them. I know it shall be so. And I know that voice that speaks through you and to you and in your mind and that try to cast doubt about Jehovah God in your mind. Today we release, I know because of what you have gone through, you still say, ah, this thing that I'm believing, is it right? Yes, it is right. Today the Lord shall anoint you with fresh oil and you shall live here with divine intervention upon your life. We decree in the name of Jesus, Satan, you take your hands off every strange voice that comes to them, that, or, that speak to their mind, that speak to their mind, and that speak through them. Today I speak as a prophet and I decree as a prophet that all of you go out tonight you will be set free that you will be able to take what belongs to you now I know that whatsoever we ask the Lord will give it to you and today we are asking for your freedom we are asking for the infilling of the Holy Spirit we are asking for the divine touch of the Spirit upon your life we are asking for fresh oil and fresh anointing new strength upon you in the name of jesus you i decree now in the name of jesus force this darkness you will live this latest life we set to free you shall be set free today the voices that speak through you and in your mind casting doubt about the love of god towards you Today I decree that God says I love you and I will fulfill my word. Oh woman today, I will speak. My love is upon you. Say the Lord. You might not feel it, but I say my love is upon you. I will never leave you. I have not rejected you. You are mine and I will do it. Marosta Pradu. Tonight and this morning. Yes. I sign a covenant with you that you are mine and you are mine. Don't be afraid. Don't let the enemy whisper to you. 
now you shall have a new voice speaking to you that you shall make it you cannot fail i pray according to the word of the lord lord release your servants and hand me today lord release them and i decree whatever that comes that want to destroy their life one of you have been thinking that i am tired i want to kill myself today i say the thing have changed and your mind shall begin to take positive things victory shall begin to come you said god if you were with me if i have received you why is this situation so hard today i pray that lord be set loose be set loose there shall be a replacement the voice of the holy spirit shall be stronger in your life may the favor of the lord may the spirit of the lord move upon you and move in your life it shall be so today i decree that lord any negative thought that comes and that takes control over your life today i decree that you are set free in the name of jesus Are you watching me? Euphemia, are you watching me? I want to pray for you. You love the Lord. You've gone through battles and warfare. The Lord, God Himself, shall show Himself to you and your entire children for I will never leave you look I will never forget about you for I will reward you because of your heart towards me my hand shall be upon you thank you Jesus Just wash it briefly. I feel there should be we need God's spirit to fill us to rest upon us. We don't want to live here the same.
this morning Samuel Samuel Uzu I will use you to pray for another one Another one who have my name in addition somewhere. I am going to just you to pray for that person. He's not here. But you're going to stand in for that person. Because the glory of the Lord is going to cover this place. I see healings, miracles. Is there a prophet? I see miracles happening. come forward to me here. Just shake my hand. Some pain had just disappeared from your body. Just walked here. have been defeated your enemies have been defeated and today you're having some pain it's gone it's also gone ask worship some pain 
some sickness you brought here you will feel it that is gone what you could not do before you will do it and as it leaves just walk forward here we are singing that song after I There's no words to say. Oh, 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 everybody say when the glory comes. There's no words to say. couldn't move that is so painful today this morning there is a relief without a touch of a man just walk and run here
your name. Pamela, how long have you had this? For a very long time. When you came in, you were, you were, you were, when you brought it, it was troubling you. Where is it now? You can't find it. You can't find it. Stronger than any painkiller, isn't it? I'm faster than any painkiller. I pray that that should be the end. You brought a pain on your knee and the pain had vanished. You can't feel the pain. Which one? This one. It's gone. So you can't feel it. Are you sure? Dude, I want to see that. Are you a young lady? Can you run? Run to me. Is it now? You can't feel it again. You don't have to feel it again. Yes. So go and sit down. Thank God. Because when the glory comes, there's no word to say. We cannot describe what happened. So go. Brain. 
when I spoke, but first, uh, you yeah, and you, you as if ice water, uh, some cold water had been poured upon you, and now the, that thing. Okay, Father, I pray for total and complete deliverance. I know it is done. Amen. Come, are you? You feel some movement around your brain. Okay. I want you to pray now. Let's pray. Let's all pray and see whether you will feel it again. Cabra do skiba, labrasta bradu. I want to test it to see whether it is still there. Kima katabru, braste karada simba, legrosta pradaste brose hirende katu simba. Today we decree Kamu Kararuski Prosta Redo Kradista Ela Grasta Braduskia. Thank you, Father, for this miracle. Thank you, Lord, for this victory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Did you feel it? You don't feel it. When we even pray, you didn't feel it. gone off gone off completely what do you want to tell jesus thank you lord Uti, this place it was hot hot and they, I, I cold Heat no go. Heat and pain. So where is the heat and pain? You can't feel it again. Are you sure? Thank you. It's gone. Madam. A month we're having continuous headache. So where is it? It's gone. Hey, Asimni. Now, madam, which one? So, what couldn't you do? Huh? You couldn't touch it, very painful. Why? Here. So you couldn't have done that. So it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Lady, what is wrong? What you've been having pain left for some time now. So the men I spoke, the ten left. We are trusting God. I didn't call those who are trusting God to come now. Trust Him when you get it, then you come. So go and sit down and step the trust, him, and your trust will be surely rewarded. Yeah. She wasn't she was acting on faith but I'm asking those whose faith has worked I'm asking for the manifestation of faith now where madam your times pay we are sure men can say you can 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 What about you? You're right. What's wrong with it? You twisted four years and you're in pain. So what do you want? Yes. So you're 
are not yet healed. The same with that lady. I pray that by the end, by the time we leave, something will happen. So that next week we will come in here. You can come and give your testimony. group come and put us on fire we'll end it do you know many things has happened I didn't mention many things some people were waiting for me to mention I won't mention it it has happened. What you ask from God, you have it. What you desire from Him, you have it. You are being put on fire. I saw as if there was some fire and nothing could touch you. You became like a flame of fire where there was fire upon your life you will no longer be defeated. I want us to sing that people who have won battles don't sing like you were defeated yesterday. Sing like you've won the battle. Sing like who is this? Rama. Rama. What do you want? Take it. Take it! Those who are confused and need direction. The Spirit of God will speak and show you and never take the wrong decision. You will make the right choice. And so you would be and you will see. Don't be afraid. I see direction. I see a light that I've gone and somebody was walking and following the light. God said, I will guide and lead my people. There is some man of God praying. Who is this man of God? Who church? You 
you people were hiding. I've got you. Oh Lord, there's another one hiding somewhere. Kneel down. The oil you needed. Touch it. Fresh oil upon you. Man. I have heard you. Your time. Your season. Go and defeat and destroy the works of the enemy. Direction and God is coming. Today, fresh oil. Let him pour this oil. God has put it on. Adushki brown nakata sebrahoda. Real takaya tashinda. You shall rise up like a giant. And break the gate that is holding many captive. Desire your cry for that oil is now. Hold my hands. Oh, oh yes. You have to be very Don't worry, nothing when you see when you hang. I know it. Nothing. Some of you are too medically concerned. And all the time. You are afraid for me. But don't let him be afraid. Don't be afraid for me. Don't come here, Pastor. Don't come here. I'll come there. You said she didn't come there. I'm coming. Oh, when the glory. Gentlemen, son. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. When the glory comes, when the glory comes, there'll be no words.
this is your time. This is your season. This is the time to favor thee. This is the time you've been asking, what about me? And I remember you today. Your day of remembrance. I haven't forgotten about you. For I am the Lord thy God. I will do that great thing which you ask. I have finished. Whatsoever you want now. Open so under. i
give me a new bridge song. Fragrance of my world goes up to the Father. Tenderness sun, hey, and the response to my words. Hey. The fragrance of my words. Hey.
to be continued next week. Oja, 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 oja. So we're going to close. We're going to share the grace. Offering. Sit down. Sit down. We take the offering. Father, at this point, we release your presence on the hands that are holding this. We know that you have heard their prayers. You know that you've refreshed them. We know that miracles have happened. Lord, the sick have been healed. The barren have got their children. The unmarried will find their, wife, their husbands and wives. Lord, those who are seeking for jobs, their financial life, there shall be restoration in the life of each and everyone here. Lord, as they sow this seed, let the heavens be open and bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. How many of you enjoyed the all night? Next week, a baby butu 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 butu. Did you hear what I said? If I don't come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you give your offering. Don't be slain when you are taken, giving the offering. Finish giving the offering before you get slain. My palm. My palm, I don't know. Drama, no. Upon you. Hallelujah. I hope you finish. We will just be closing very soon. Lewis, you have to go and rest a little and go to your outdoor end, wedding, funerals, uh, uh, and what again? Parties, birthday parties, and all other ensangries. May God be with you. Udidia Susu. Amen. God is going to be with you. What are you offering now? Say announcement, Ben Hobium. Those electronic that are given this year. I want you to go finish. Then uh, we'll close. Okay. Oku here. Mapamu. Osara umu iskano babia. Eko. Amen. beautiful handsome face and wonderful face fearful face some face are fearful oh. especially the armor bearers when they stand there I bad it be armor bearers Amen. 
Francis, where are you? Oh, Fatina, name, Fatina. Yeah, do the face, do the face that you use, Francis. Do it. More Fatina, name. Now, face now, I know. Oh, yes, I'm going to know. Sure. Oh, yes, I can say, greater is she that is in me than the face that is starting to frighten me. Amen. 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 That's one of them. <laughs> Truly, once you're almost so. I'm a boss. One in India, physical demons. Oko fa lengi lengi tiseme, sa physical demons no. I'm meeting my wife. In the physical demons, I'm not being who I am. I say, my fear for prophet, I know. I'm a rovia. Amen. Physical demons, so I'm a Macuma Yentina, Edo Maton, Ubano Mujino. Amen. Obia man offering me. Have you all given the offering? Okay, then we are going to close. Our gracious Father, I pray for safety for each and every one. As they live here, may the road be saved, may their path be saved, may they go and rest. And those who are going to other places, may you give them enough energy, Lord, that each one will fulfill the days. Refresh us as we move home and hold them in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we share the grace? Amen. Bless you.